Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Lila Web Dev. In today's video, we are diving deep into one of the Angular 19's cutting edge feature that is nothing but hybrid rendering. So what is this hybrid rendering? Let's try to write it here, hybrid rendering. So this is a new concept that has been introduced in Angular 19. So in, our, in the Angular SSR. So we will cover everything from the concept step by step implementation in a real world Angular project. So stick around for clear practical examples in this video. So first of all, what is an hybrid rendering? So let's try to define the hybrid rendering. So what is this hybrid rendering? Hybrid rendering combines server side rendering, client side rendering and also the pre-rendering, giving developers the flexibility to optimize the performance, SEO and also the user experience. With Angular 19's new server and render APIs, you have complete control over rendering the strategies at the route level. So this is what the definition for this one. So why we use this hybrid rendering? So what is the use? Why we use this one? So why we need to use this hybrid rendering? First one is the flexibility. Choose SSR for SEO heavy pages, CSR for dynamic experience or SSG for static fast loading pages and built-in i1.8.10 support easily localize your application environment agnostic run it <clears throat> on any javascript runtime not only not just only the node.js so this is the thing and also we also have a performance enhance the initial load time scalability and also the more so this is all about the hybrid rendering now you may be getting it out what is this hybrid rendering so this one feature new feature has been introduced in the angular 19 it is in developer preview right now so what does it does do this for example let's say that when you are having an application and you have an application and you have created that application using a ssr okay then you can do either server side rendering or maximum case you can do the pre-rendering concept also which we have discussed in our earlier videos but if you want to have a client side rendering so that means normal application when you try to uh, create it so those are by default client side rendering only if you are trying to create a project using server side rendering means those are server side rendering now you are having something like a route levels like home about us contact us like this you are having some different routes each route needs to be loaded in a different variety for example let's say that home should be loaded in a server side rendering and contact should be loaded as a pre-rendering and uh, this another page should be loaded as a client side rendering so each route level flexibility also you can set up using this hybrid rendering so that is what they are trying to explain to you so i will show you the real-time scenario how we can set up this hybrid rendering for this one what i will try to do it is let's go to our thing and here in this one i will create a command prompt and let's try to create the project <clears throat> So for creating this type of thing, server side rendering project, what we need to do is, so you need to create ng new hyphen hyphen SSR and also here you need to give in another one hyphen hyphen server hyphen routing. So these are, this is the main thing which we need to create it. So now here ng new hyphen hyphen SSR hyphen hyphen server hyphen routing. Let's try to, uh, it will take some time to create the project, let it create, not a problem. So it will be asking you what is the project. So if, uh, you can give the project name as angular hyphen server i will try to keep it and css so it will install you some couple of uh, packages and all those things which are necessary for the application to run so let it install so this is all it's creating and installing so it will take some time depending on your internet connection and the system speed so let it create so here the project has been created let's go on to this one so i will open the visual studio code so visual studio code and after opening the visual studio code let's try to open the project angular hyphen server so this is the project which i have created it so now this is our project okay and let's try to run the server so for running the server what we need to do so here npm run build and for server side so what you need to do i don't remember exactly package.json file and here we can copy this one okay and here npm run and this is the command we'll run it that's it so let's try to see the thing so it will take some time 
cannot find modules okay so here uh, it hasn't built, built it right so let it build mm, after building it then the dist files everything will be available then it will be able to execute that one so now it has been built now let's try to run this server also npm run like this and the node will be listening to the local host 4000 so now it is listening let's open here and here i am opening this one so we should be able to see hello angular server so fine so up to here you people know about this one so then what is the usage of this hybrid rendering now in the pre-rendering concept if you try to see in the angular.json file so you will not able to see the pre-render option here so you where you will not able to find it here so how we can use this pre-render option and all those things is for example let's say that i am having two components let's assume so i am having ng gc home component and i will create another component that is nothing but contact component let's create the two components and we'll create a routing for that one so it will take some time let me create and i will come back to you so here i have created home and i am creating another one ng gc contact also i will create it so two components i am creating let it create so after creating this component so what i will try to do let's go to our app.route studies so this is all the common thing which we will be doing and here also what i will do so path if you are having an empty means oh, what is this complete mistake path if you are having an empty means so here component i will be using the home component okay so home component my system is too much slow i don't know why it is not even telling that home component and if you are having an another path like uh, path contact means then we need to load the component component contact component i don't know i will let me close this one and i will come back again so now it is working fine so this is our path home component and here i will be creating the path of contact and it should open the component that is nothing but contact component contact where this one has been went yeah so these are the two components which you'll be having this is a normal thing so now when you want to set up this one is let's go to the app.config.ts file and here you need to provide the provide router and routes and all those things is also done so now here also if you want to have it means so here you can show uh, provide uh, provide http client so we need to provide this http client also let's try to provide this http client here so here i, I will be adding provide http client and we are using the server side means we need to use the with fetch that's it so now we have completed this one also and app.routes.ts also is completed so now let's try to uh, build this one that is nothing but npm run build you can also use the watch also not a problem so here i will be running this build and here let me let us run this one also after building so now here it is running now let's open this one and here i will try to show you so here if you try to see this one let's see okay so we haven't changed anything right let's go to our app.component.html file and in this one i will remove this entire thing let's try to have a simple concept that is nothing but ul and li and here i will be having an anchor link and router link i will be having okay and this one will be like this and here i can close it and home okay so this is our router link concept so i will add that we can also so here uh, let's say that contact so if you are having this contact means then contact page so these are the two things which you will be having so just i want to show you this hybrid running what is the concept of hybrid running that is the main thing which you need to understand so for this one i am trying to set up this all so fine let's build it again let's try to build it again so now here it has been developed and by default it has it is it is uh, doing the pre-rendering of the two static routes so we are having two static routes that is nothing but home contact it has pre-rendered this one so okay fine let it re-render and here i am running the node server also so if you try to see it here so if i click on this one so now you will be able to see like home and contact so this one is working so we have added the routing outlet router outlet also it is working fine so now what i will try to do it is in our home.js so here in our home.component.ts file 
home dot component at as well just i will try to have uh, something like uh, uh, let's say that uh, uh, http is equal to inject i will inject the http client okay i will inject the http client and here what i will try to do is in ng on init okay in ng on init so just i will try to make um, this dot http dot get off uh, we will have a json placeholder that post thing we are having it right so just i want to show you this one so i will be making an http call so this is our http call and here i will try to make it like this so fine so this is our http call okay and i will try to subscribe so that it will try to do it okay so this is the subscription i am doing it and i will try to watch this one watch and here i will stop the node server so now let's try to see here whether we are able to see the same output or not so here if i try to click on this one so now if i go into the home so we are able to make a post request but if i refresh here so as the page is pre-rendered and all this thing the post request is not getting caught but if i come to contact and if i go here it will be called so this is common behavior which we have seen it earlier so now if i want to get it as in client side rendering for this one so if i want to get the client side rendering means then we have a separate file that is nothing but a server roads file so this is the thing so all the modes are pre-rendered by default so if you don't want this one means so here you can mention the mode so here path empty and the render mode so you can mention this render mode render mode dot i want to mention it as in client okay and here you can mention it as in path so here you can mention it as in contact and what is the render mode you want it then that is nothing but render mode dot server so you can mention it as in server so these are the two things which you can mention it so now as this one is uh, changes are getting detected let's see uh, so error contact route does not match oh, what is that uh, route we have mentioned it in our app.route.es contact we have mentioned it right okay it is still uh, building okay it's let's try to build it so the server side routing will be a little bit slow or either my system is slow i don't know so what could be the issue so let me start again the node server yeah so now if i try to show you if i try to show you this one so here if you try to refresh this page the home page itself starting only the post is getting loaded so why because this is client side render so you may be getting doubt how can we say that this is a client side render means if you try to open this page source for this one see you are not able to see any code okay so what is that we need to have this all the home contact these all things you need to have it right so we are not able to see who app iphone node which is a old case only so that is a client case but if you try to see the contact and if i try to open this one so now you will be able to see contact works that entire code you will be able to see but whereas for the home page so the entire thing will be is a client side mode only so this is the thing so that means in the app dot routes dot server dot where it has been gone yeah so this is the file so you can mention what type of render you want to have client side server side you will be having three options that is nothing but another one is a pre-render pre-render means i already showed you in earlier video it automatically it will save the copy of the index.html file in the dist folder so that is thing so you can mention which type of render you want so both the things you want to client side render means it's a normal angular file only so if you want to mention it is on server side means then if you mention this one as server side and if this one you have mentioned is a client side means then the home page will be server side render and this one will be client side render so i will try to show you so it is changes are getting detected so it is rebuilding it let it rebuild and it will take some time so let it take my system is slow i think yeah so let's see whether it will work or not so here i will try to show you homeworks now the uh, okay still the post is getting called way maybe that one is not cash um, it's still it is showing the okay both the things i kept it as client side or what i didn't remember exactly uh, what I, I kept it for this one okay one is server right so let's try to stop this node also i will try to do it sometimes it will happen like this so we need to do it again so here if i try to refresh this page still loading let it load yeah now the post is not getting called but if you try to open here you will be able to see the same change home works this one you are able to see whereas for the contact page so this one is a this one is a client side render so this is all about the hybrid rendering so that is what i, I, I was trying to explain you so whatever the things you are trying to 
do it the routes also you need to define in the routes.server.es so that what type of render you want to do it so that will be rendered and here you will be having an app.config.server.es file also both the application config and server config will be merged so now that's it so client side rendering means dynamic interactive offline apps you will be using this one so see client side rendering execute entirely in the browser ideal for single page websites and progressive web apps and server side rendering means faster seo initial loads ssr generates html on the server and sends it to the client and pre rendering means static pages like blocks landing pages like this you will be using ssg generates static html files during the build so this is all about the concept so hope you understood about this one so key benefits of this hybrid rendering is the optimized performance i will try to explain you before closing optimized performance choose the best rendering strategy for each route enhanced seo pre rendered and server rendered pages boost search engine rankings reduce server cost ssg minimizes the server load so in conclusion before closing what i will try to do it is the closing statement so this is the new concept available in angular 19 only hybrid rendering is a game changer for angular developers it gives you full control over how your app is delivered balancing performance scalability and user experience try it out and let me know your thoughts in the, in the comments on this one so i hope that this gives you a clear a clear understanding about this hybrid rendering and still some more strategies are there i will explain you in the further video hope you understood about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you